So in the dynamic and ever-changing field of IT, staying informed and getting insights from experts is invaluable. So that's why we are excited to bring you Today's webinar featuring a lead voice in the industry. Our guest speaker has not only made significant contribution to cloud, but also continues to drive innovation and excellence. So I'm truly honored to introduce our guest for today's webinar, our guest, Ms. Aline, who's a true limited as a cloud engineer with a wealth of knowledge and experience. Her impressive achievement and contribution to the field had earned her a well-deserved reputation. So we are fortunate to have her to share her insights and valuable perspectives. So everyone, please welcome Aline. Hi, Aline. Welcome. Hi. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. I hope you're doing well. I hope yeah. everybody's doing well. Yeah, I'm doing well. Because you joined, I'm doing much better now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Okay. So I... I'm from a business field. Then I later went into the health the health sector at some point. Um, so I'm currently in the US. So when I say health field, a lot of people have, you know, the whole transition, you leave your country, you move to another place, you're trying to find your foot. That whole messed up process was how I started. Then at some point I was I was going through my social media and then I came across Think Cloudly. So that was how I, I got, I got in, I started with Think Cloudly. It wasn't, it wasn't recommended, but I think I chanced upon it and I don't know what happened. And I'm like, let me give them a, a try and let's see if something is going to change for me. So I started, I spoke to Naman. He guided me. Um, I started with Cloud Architect, funny enough. So that's where it's twisted. I started with Cloud Architect. Then I did the certification. I took it for about, the cloud architect was about eight weeks. It was difficult in the beginning because somebody that is not from an IT background and you're trying to venture into something that was very daring for me. So I started with it. Naman helped me. At some point, I'm like, I'm not getting a job. What's happening? So Naman advised that, you know what? Um, Why don't you go into either Scrum or project management? and see if, you know, that's going to help you out. So I'm like, okay, let me just give it a shot because I I feel I have some, some part of my skill is really inclined with project management. So let me just do that and add both and see what's going to happen. So I did the course that also, that also took about eight weeks, did the certification. And then after about, I think after a month or two months, let's say between a month and three months, right? I was called for an interview. Now, the first interview I got was mainly in cloud. I got to the final stage, but I didn't get the job. So, you know, I was I was heartbroken because I had so much hope that I was going to get a job. And getting to the last stage of an interview is pretty good. Mind you, I, I did have certain rejections because most of the times you send applications you don't even get to the first stage and they send you the whole message. I'm sorry, we can't do this. We showed somebody else. I got a number of that, a whole lot of that. But after the first, the, the final stage of that interview, I knew I was getting close because if I've been able to get to the final interview, that means I'm getting somewhere. Then I got rejected and I was, I was very sad. And Naman was helping me through all of this. He actually got me... Um, what's it called, an interview prep, help, got somebody to help me with interview prep and all that. Now, going forward, I, I, my LinkedIn was built by LinkedIn, by, by Think Loudly. It's just something I want you all to know. They were able to help me with, with my LinkedIn. And funny enough, a recruiter, I didn't need to apply for the job. So it's very important to keep your LinkedIn, you know, updated, um, make sure that your LinkedIn looks good that can attract recruiters to your profile. So a recruiter reached out to me. I didn't have to apply for the job. They realized I had um, a PMP. I had project management certification. I had the cloud architect certification. So they're like, I think you're going to be good for the job because we need somebody that is going to head our IT teams 
because you have an IT background and you have project management, you're the best fit. So I decided to apply for the job. I went to the first stage of interview, second stage, and then a panel interview. And then they really, they really loved me because they realized that I was able to combine both worlds together seamlessly. So I got the job. Yes, it's a six-figure job. Thank you, Naman, for always guiding me through all of this. And no, no, no. It's your I've... efforts. It's your efforts completely, <laughs> Khalil. Uh, we I'm, are just a facilitator. People... It's your efforts. Yes. Mm-hmm. But it's Think County is well organized, you know, making sure that's if if you listen and you speak to the right people and you speak to Naman to guide you because they have been in the field for a very long time. So they can be able to guide you on what to do and the steps to follow. So I've been a project management for, manager for some time, leading um, teams, IT teams, network teams, um, cybersecurity teams, um, cloud especially, so and then middleware. So that's what I currently do as a profession. Awesome. I mean, Aline, I know that you are one of that lady I know in my circle who has inspired a lot of people, you know, especially especially the women. So what were the challenges? Uh, what are the challenges do you have faced on your day to day role when you are playing? So uh, are you facing any issues or do you think that keeping yourself up to date is also one of the one of the thing? Because I know that you have already secured an IT job as project manager right now and uh, you're still attending one program with us uh, right now so i mean when i mean when you were when you approached us that hey naman i want to know th- learn this so i was quite surprised that elin who has already secured a job she's still learning so would you mind if you can just uh, throw some light and tell us like mm-hmm. what 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 is your experience while while you are on job and what do you think uh, what 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 is that one advice you want to give to our audience so one advice is when you get into IT, you never stop learning. It's something that you, I know in more, in other fields, it's a one-time thing and then maybe that's it. But in IT, it's like you, it keeps evolving. You need to keep learning. Even things that you didn't, you didn't think you were going to learn, you find yourself learning. Currently, I'm learning Active Directory. I'm learning PowerShell. That wasn't, that wasn't what I signed up for. What I signed up for was for cloud, anything that has to do with Linux and all of that. But you find yourself in a company that is using Windows, that is using more of Active Directory, and you need to keep up with the pace just so you remain re- relevant in the, in the company. So I had to reach out to... It was difficult, trust me. It took me months before I realized if I don't take these courses you know, I'm just going to set myself up for failure. So it's it was a step in the right direction. I reached out to Naman again. I'm pretty sure he's tired of, of hearing from me, but I reached out to him <laughs> no, again. No, no, no. I'm like, I need to take this course. This is what I'm doing at work. I need to take this course. And he said, okay, take this one. Take this one during the weekend. Do this, do that. Mind you, learning and schooling is, learning and working is one of the most difficult things ever because you do a nine to five, you get home, I'm married, you have to, you know, cook, do everything that a woman has to do to keep the home running. At the same time, you need to take a class late in the night. It's difficult, but if you know where you where you want to go and you know that you need more money, because the more you learn, the more they see value, the more they increase your paycheck. So it's like you need to keep up with the pace. It's it's I'm not gonna say it's easy. It's it's very, very difficult. There are times that I can Sometimes during class, you find yourself dozing off, but it's because you're tired. Your whole day is used for work, home, home life, um, school, you know, putting all that together. That kind of balance is difficult. But I think if you set your eye on the goal, you kind of have some kind of energy and, you know, some push to keep doing it. And you always need to have people around you that, that will support you. I have a supportive husband. I have supportive family that will keep pushing you. I have friends in IT that we we speak to ourselves most of the times to kind of encourage ourselves to push push ourselves because it's hard for a woman to be in tech. So if a woman is in tech, you need the right people around you to push you. Absolutely. You know, Aline, I mean, that's, that's really inspiring. That's certainly inspiring. 
So, uh, Elaine, I think the main formula, what has worked for you, that is my observation. Please let me know if I am wrong or right. So what formula actually worked for you is like you combine the technology with management, isn't it? And that is right. something what you are experiencing right now on your role as well, that you you are seeing that uh, the project management plus you are learning Active Directory at the same time, right? Uh -huh. So I think this, right. this, is, this is a combination which has worked for you, isn't it? Yes, you have to. So if you're in a tech field and if you, when you're in a tech field and you find yourself in a managerial role, you are managing IT folks, meaning that you need to know what everybody is doing. That's the hard part about it. You need to know when you become a manager, you need to know what everybody is doing. You need to at least understand what is happening. And to be able to understand what each group is, each, each group or department is doing, you probably need to take a course or two to understand what they are doing to be able to manage them. If not, how do you speak when when you go for meetings? How do you speak? How do you contribute? How do you guide people when you don't know anything about the field? So that's the tough part about it. But I'm I I'm yeah. trying, I'm still doing it. I'm trying to combine everything together. Awesome. So, Eileen, uh, one, one, one more thing I would like to ask you that uh, so when it comes to certifications, so I know that you have some certifications already, am I right? So right. certifications are, are important, isn't it? Because every time we need to add some certification, that's what I have heard from recruiters, from a lot of students, from a lot of our experts oh, that having yeah. certifications are important. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. and, very important. And we, so what what are your thoughts about certifications that should should our students like who are here on the call today uh, should should they be doing more and more certification and also at the same time attain the information the knowledge and skills uh, which which are backing by the certification so would you suggest them would you, would you advise them yes i will some some people will think the experience is more important than the certification but i think both of them work hand in hand now, my the, the job I am in now, when I had my interview, they actually asked, do you have the AWS Cloud Solutions Architect certification? And I said, yes. So I showed them. It was actually on my resume, but they just wanted to be sure that I did have it. So certifications are one of the things that if you're in IT, in project management, in Scrum, it's it's worth it's worth having because that actually, actually puts you know, takes you into the door. Like it actually opens the door for you. Those are one of the first things that open the door for you, your certification. If not, I don't see any recruiter calling you. Some will, depending on what they want, but I feel that the easiest way is to at least have a couple of certifications to back you up. Awesome. Thank you so much, Aline. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, too, for having me. Thank you for watching. Switch from non-IT to IT today. Explore www.thinkcloudly.com